Hi, good day everyone. This video is about a quick review of the rules for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing fractions and algebraic expression. So I have here the rules for the multiplication and division. So for multiplication, we have four steps. Number one is we need to rewrite the numerator and the denominator in terms of its prime factors or factors. Next, the common factors in the numerator and denominator can be simplified as this is often called as cancelling. Okay, so we need to cancel. And letter C or number 3, we need to multiply the numerators together to get the new numerator. Same with our denominator. So we need to multiply the denominators together to get the new denominator. And for division, so to divide two fractions or rational expression, multiply the dividend with the reciprocal of the divisor. So same procedure, same as multiplication, but this time we need to reciprocate our divisor. Okay? So let's try to solve um, some examples. Let's say number one, let's say we are asked to find the product of a fraction. Let's say we want to multiply 10 over 21 okay, and 15 over 8. So let's multiply this. We have 15 over 8. Okay, so actually, um, in terms of multiplying fractions, so we are allowed to multiply our numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. But to express our answer or reduce it into its lowest term, let's try to apply our rules here. So number one is we need to list down our prime factors. Okay, so that means for 10 over 21, okay, so we need to list down its prime factors. So we need to think of a prime number wherein if you go, if you're going to multiply those numbers, we have 10. Okay, same with their denominator. So for example, for 10, it is actually um, a product of 2, prime number 2 and 5. So we have 2 and 5. Okay, and for 21, I think that is 3 times 7, prime number 3 and prime number 7. So 3 times 7 is 21. Okay, that is, our, that is for our first fraction. Next, um, for our second fraction, we have 15 over 8. So a 15 over 8, so let's identify their prime factors. For 15, I think that is um, 3 and 5. So 3 times 5 is 15. And those numbers are prime numbers. Same with 8. So 8 is actually equals to 2 times 4. But this time, 4 is not a prime number, but 4 is actually um, a product of 2 times 2. So we have this given prime factors. Okay? So just list down. Okay, let's combine all of our factors. Therefore, it will give us this set of values. So we have 2 and 5 for our numerator for the first fraction and combine it to our second fraction. It's numerator, that, that is 3 and 5. Okay? All over the denominators. So the value of our denominators here, we have 3. Okay, so we have 3, 7, 2, 2, and 2. Alright? Next, so let's apply step number 2, which is we need to um, cancel out numbers or same factors for this given situation. So um, just cancel out 3. Okay? And we also have the value of 2. Alright? So next is we need to multiply the numerators together to get the new numerator. So the remaining values here, just multiply those values. So we have this 5 and another 5 for our numerator. So just multiply that value. So it will give us 5 times 5 for our numerator. And we have 7, 2 and 2 for our denominator. So that is over 7. Oops. That is 7 times 2 times 2 for our denominator. Therefore, 5 times 5 is 25. And 7 times 2 is 14 times 2. That is 28. And that is our final answer, which is already um, reduced to its lowest term. Okay? So that's our example number one. Now, let's try to solve another set of examples. Let's um, try to um, find the product of this set of um, expression. So let's say we have variables. Okay? Let's say we have x squared uh, minus 4x plus 5 or minus 5 all over x squared. Let's say minus 3x um, plus 2. Let's multiply this. Um, let's say we have x squared. Minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared minus 3x minus 10. 
Okay? Let's say we are asked to multiply those values. Again, um, we are allowed, again, to multiply this numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator, but um, to reduce our answer, okay, um, this is um, a practical um, step. So we need to apply this given procedure. So just um, factor out those expression. That is our step number one. So that means um, if we have our first fraction or expression as x squared minus 4x minus 5 all over x squared minus 3x plus 2, just factor out there's those given rational or um, quadratic expression. So again, in terms of factoring, we need to think of a number or factors. Let's say we have x okay, plus a and then x plus b. We need to think of a number or numbers wherein if you multiply this a and b, the product is our last term. Okay? And if you add a and b, the sum will be our midterm. Okay, that is our technique. So that means if we have negative 5 as our last term and we have negative 4 as our midterm, I think the factor for the first um, numerator that is um, positive 1 and negative 5. So let's try to double check this. Okay, negative w positive one times negative five. The answer is negative five. Good, and neg and one plus negative five. The answer is negative four. Okay, so that is correct. So that means we have this correct factor. Next, for our denominator, we have x squared minus three x plus two. So let's factor out. So um, we have positive two, okay, as our denominator, and we have negative 3 is our midterm. So that I think that is negative 2 and negative 1. So double check again. Negative 2 times negative 1, the answer is positive 2. Negative 2 plus 1 or plus negative 1, the answer is negative 3. So that is um, correct. So we have this set of factors for our first set of expression. Right? So let's list down the factors now for the second expression, which is x squared minus 5x plus 6 all over x squared minus 3x minus 10. Okay, so this is our first expression. We have the second set of rational expression. So let's list down the factors for our, or for our second um, rational expression. So we have x squared minus 5x plus 6. I think the factors for this given um, expression, we have x minus 2 and x minus 3. Okay, let's double check again. Negative 2 times negative 3, the answer is positive 6. Negative 2 plus negative 3, that is negative 5. So good. So that is correct. Next, um, let's factor out our denominator. And I think that is x minus 5 and x plus 2, which is negative 5 times 2, that is 10. Good. Negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. So we have this correct factor. Next is just combine those factors, okay? So just combine it and let's cancel out same term or same factors. So for the first um value for the numerator, we have x plus 1, x minus 5. Let's combine the factors of our second expression, which is x minus 2 and x minus 3. Next, for our denominators, we have x minus 2, x minus 1. The second values are negative x minus 5 and x plus 2. Now this time, let's apply step number 2. Let's cancel out. So let's cancel. Um, I think that is negative 5, x minus 5 and x minus 5 together with x minus 2 and x minus 2. Okay? And this time, let's list down our remaining values. So therefore, our remaining values here, we have um, x plus 1 and x minus 3 for numerator and we have x minus 1 times x plus um, 2 for our denominators All right so just multiply it so just apply foil method to simplify this one so let's apply foil method that is x times x okay and that is equals to x squared next is x times 3 negative 3 that is negative 3x. Same with the second value. We have negative 1 times x. That is plus x. And 1 times negative 3. That is minus 3. Okay. 
So that is for numerator. For the denominator, we have x times x. We have x squared. We have x times 2. That is plus 2x. We have negative 1 times x. That is minus x. And we have negative 1 times 2, which is minus 2. And let's combine like terms. So for the numerator, we have this term as our like term. And for the denominator, we have 2x and negative x. And after that, it will give us our final answer. So the final answer for this given problem, we have x squared. So negative 3x plus x, that is minus 2x or negative 2. And copy the remaining minus 3. So we have minus 3 all over x squared. 2x minus x, that is x. And copy the remaining minus 2. And that is our final answer. Right? So that is for multiplication. Now, let's proceed to um, some concept of division. Okay? So again, to divide two fractions or rational expression, um, just multiply or the dividend with the reciprocal of the divisor. So just reciprocate our divisor. Alright, so let's say um, same procedure. Okay? So same value. Let's say we are asked to divide this. Let's say we have 3 over 10 divided by 2 over, um, let's say, 6. Okay? So again, um, just apply the same rule, but this time, we need to reciprocate our divisor and proceed to multiplication. So that means it will give us our first value here is 3 over 10. Just copy it and reciprocate this value to over 6. And it will give us, okay, again, the denominator will become will serve as our numerator and the numerator will serve as our denominator. So the, the second value here is 6 over 2, which is obviously equal to 3, okay? But this time, let's multiply this one first, okay? So if you want to apply the same concept, okay, last concept, so we list down the factors. So that means for 3 over 10, the factors are 3 all over 2 times 5. That is our prime factor for 3 over 10. So for 6 over 2, that is um, 3 times 2, and we have 2, okay? And just combine those factors. For the numerator, we have 3, 3, and 2. For the denominators, we have 2, 5, and 2. And let's cancel out like terms. So let's cancel out the value of 2 and multiply the remaining values. So we have 3 times 3, that is equals to 9 all over 5 times 2 that is equals to 10 so the answer for this given expression is 9 over 10 so thank you so much everyone and God bless